minute of every day. It has to be a hundred percent. It has to be. And you must know this. And why would anybody want to live any other way anyway? Amen. Amen. Miss Kuman, I happen to know these people, they call me from New York. And they have made that kind of dedication. She's made that kind of dedication. She turned down some real important contracts because she believed that there were certain things Christians couldn't do. I believe God already has made it up to her. I do too, Ralph. God bless you. Amen. God, God, God is so faithful. Wonderful Jesus, thou hast spoken. The Holy Spirit hath spoken through lips of clay. This, my friend, is real. The Holy Spirit hath spoken. We can talk about consecration. We can have our seminars and talk about surrendering consecration, but beloved, it's more than just a matter of discussion. You've seen one tonight who has made of that full surrender. That's it. My mother said she'd never talked in an audience like this before in her life, but the Spirit of God was on her. This is holy ground in here. If we'd have a benediction right now, and leave this place, not one of us could possibly be the same person that we were before we entered this place. Not one. We're living in the last days and he's pouring out of himself upon all flesh. Men and women from every walk of life, you know what I'm talking about. This is glory in here. In just this moment, what is this over here? Come here, Maggie. Come here. I don't know. Looking at you, I don't know which one we got the healing. This is another one from Canada, Miss Cooley. He's from Canada, and he had cerebral palsy. His knees were bent down. Now he can straighten them. He can lift his leg. He can uh, bend over. He can stand on his toes, and he's the happiest boy here tonight. Which one have you got this year? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus has the power of... Praise God. They both went under. <laughs> oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. You know, every person that came with this group from Canada received the spirit in these meetings already. That's what it's I'm It's been beautiful. You. Look, the power's still on him. I don't the know whether he's getting up or not. so strong on this lad. This is the power of God on this lad. Look at this. He, how old are you, honey? Seventeen. Are you seventeen years of age? Yes. Stand straight right now. Have you never stood like that in your life? No, I never have. You have never? And what is it the doctors say you had? Cerebral palsy. How long ago did you have it? Since I was born. Were you born with it? Yes, I was. Most of us around here, Miss Kuman, have seen him walking, so we know he's been here during the whole clinic. Pick up your legs right now. Now the other one. Now the other one. Now the other one. Look at that smile on his face. You mean you could not have walked like that? He walked on his toes. He walked on his toes. You mean you could not? Is this the first time that your feet have been flop on the yes, ground? without trying real hard. Now it's hard to stand on my toes. <laughs> you, you mean now it's hard to stand on your toes? Right. And before you had to walk on your toes? Yeah. Walk again. Put your full weight of your... Yeah, look. That's right. Do you hear it? That's right. Come down hard so everybody thinks that's right. Come down. Is this the first time since... Well, never in your life have you ever walked like this? Never. In your whole life? Never. What happened to you? I was sitting in that chair, and all of a sudden, I felt real funny, and I... I can't... <laughs> 
explain it.